what I guess from this game would bother you most? Well, I think we just misfit a few runs, uh, particularly in the second half. Um, you know, you, losing John Houston uh, really hurt us in the run game. Did they do anything, change their blocking scheme or anything of that nature? To... No, they, they didn't open the sets up quite as much as they had in the past. Uh, they went more two and three tight ends. We would practiced that stuff. That was stuff, stuff, stuff they had done all year long. Uh, just could, not quite as much of that. Um, but, you know, some of the running game, we just, you know, got cut out of gaps and, got, and like I said, missed it. So it's another unbalanced lines ca caught you by surprise at no, all? No, we worked that. Yeah. yeah, we worked that. They do, do little bits and pieces of it uh, all year long. Um, you know, Coach Kelly even did it in Philadelphia. So, uh, you know, we, were, we worked on that, and they always had a little different new one, every one or two different unbalances every week. So uh, that was one thing they did tonight. What, what was the difference with the Kelly in the run game? Because you guys go in saying we're going to stop the run. We have to stop the run. Right, right? Like I said, we misfit some runs. Um, when John Houston went out, um, you know, we had a pretty much zero in on what they were doing formationally. And he had been in there in the first half seeing those things. And, and um, you know, it wasn't all uh, his replacement's fault. Uh, there was a – everybody took a hand in it, obviously. Um, but, uh, you know, that, that definitely didn't help us any. But you got to give UCLA credit. They had a nice plan. And uh, they won the game. Generally speaking, why is third down been so onerous? Uh, you know, we've we've been decent in some games. It's been a little bit inconsistent. Um, you know, there maybe been some third and shorters that we've have struggled with. Um, so I don't. It's just something we got to take a look at. But today, anything that? No, I mean we got them out of some. Uh, some of those were third and shorters, you know, and uh, they made some plays at the sticks. And like I said, you got to give them credit if you look at their third downs coming into the game. You know, they were a very good third down and two minute team uh, when they wanted to move the football. They've got really good concepts in the passing game, and I think the quarterback uh, executes at a very high level. Were you concerned coming in about their run game and your run defense? Um, you know, they, they do a lot of different things offensively that, that force you to work on certain things. Um, you know, first and foremost, we're always, our main thing is to stop the run first. Right. And uh, we obviously just didn't do it today. When you guys are going through a period of adversity like this, how, how does Clay hold up as a, as a leader of the team? No, I mean, he's, he's uh, straight and arrow. I mean, he's, he's um, you know, we just got to move on and, and look forward to uh, looking at the tape tomorrow, make the corrections, and move on another day. Do you, you guys, I mean, are you guys all concerned that there could be a, a, a change? I haven't even thought about it. I mean, so we're here. I mean, we're, we're trying to prepare for Notre Dame tomorrow, look at this tape, and make the corrections, and move on to to what they do. What about for yourself? Do you expect to be back in 2019? I'm expecting to come into the office tomorrow, look at the tape, and make corrections. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, man. Mm -hmm.